どうも What's good YouTube? It's your man Smo Back for another reaction You know what I'm saying? Today man, I, I got y'all with another mother Banging ass reaction, you feel what I'm saying? Hey man, as you can see like I said, I got you with another reaction. I'm still, I'm telling you, bro, I'm still grinding my 2K21 uh, next gen build. I promise you, uh, I'm getting there. I'm like, I'm about like halfway there. I'm more than halfway done. Um, excuse me. I'm more than halfway done on my finishing. Uh, I'm more than halfway done on my shooting. I'm not more than halfway done on my playmaking. I'm not, I just need, basically, I just need, Mostly the playmaking and the in the in the in the defense, um. But major, but I, I'm almost there. Don't worry, I'm almost there. It's gonna, it's, it's it's coming soon. It's coming soon. I promise. It's coming soon. I promise. I promise. I promise. Anyway, um, today we got a a, a reaction with Young Dinosaurs. You feel know what I'm saying? The, this is like Young Dinosaurs is kind of put himself in like the uh, solidified animated uh animated um youtubers like animated storytelling youtubers so he he's solidified he he's stamp you feel what i'm saying so he we got him with the he slapped me in front of the whole class with chad smith don't know who that is guess he's probably in the vid um but yeah i don't i i, I don't know who that is um never heard of chad smith um might have to check him out after this just because young young daughter saw us added him so i might have to check him out um, but we we gonna get we gonna you feel what I'm saying we gonna get right into the video. If you like the video, make sure you go ahead and you destroy that like button. Make sure you go ahead and hit the monster subscribe button. Make sure you go ahead and click that uh, notification bell so you can go ahead and be a part of the big bad game. Yes, sir. And then make sure you go ahead and you demol or you show some love and you click that share button. Share it to your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your uncle. Uh, uh, your auntie, your cousins, your grandpa, and your grandma, cause you know we out here trying to get us a nice, sexy, thick, juicy, big booty sugar mama who gonna be out here paying our motherfucking bills. Now, let's get right into the reaction. Time he saw me, it was too late. Get over here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, my boy. You're wildin'. Hold on, I gotta put this up. I gotta put my volume up to my headphones. <laughs> so hey! Story takes place Use the headphones. My final year of high school back in Jamaica. Okay. It was the same year I got suspended for selling candy during class. Which, which, is, which, is, which is weird. Because I... That's, that's crazy because, like... Back back in middle school, at least for me, hey man, that was that was the hustle. Niggas was selling cam candy in school at, uh, on the bus. Nigga, nigga, that was the hustle. What 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 you, what you want? You want the lollipop? I got you. What, what you want the you want the uh, uh, the Jolly Rancher? The Jolly Rancher lollipop? Yeah, I got you for a dollar. Every everything everything in the bag a dollar, at least a dollar. You feel what I'm saying? That was the hustle. That's how niggas used to get that bag back in the day. I don't know what you talking about. So that's crazy. You guys suspended for it. How you gonna suspend me for something that I, nigga? What? I'm, I'm getting, I'm, a, I'm getting to the money. You gonna suspend me for getting to the money? You see how, yeah, you see how messed up that is. They're gonna suspend you and punish you because you have a business person mindset. You see that? Cause you got a businessman mindset. They gonna punish you, man. Fuck all that. I'm trying to get to the bag. Come on, play the video, my nigga. Oh. In that video, link in the description. I just gone back from lunch, and I was sitting in my seat, waiting for class to start. Mm -hmm. So I'm there chilling, mm -hmm. when one of my boys, Kamani, shows mm -hmm. up and takes his seat beside me. So we're yeah, chopping yeah. it up. Yeah. I noticed that he kept scratching his chin. Whoa. Whoa, he kept scratching his chin. I don't like the way that I don't like the way that sound. That would have been uh uh. 
What you got, my boy? You got something? You caught something? That's, I don't like that. As we talked, at first I ignored it, but eventually it got to the point where it was all I was looking at. Like, I didn't even know what he was talking about anymore. So I asked him, yo, why, why you keep scratching your chin like that? You, you good? He stops talking, and then he starts laughing. So now I'm confused. He sees the confusion, and then he realizes, nobody told me about B-Word. So he proceeds to explain. What? B-Word was a game that a group of guys would play during school where you would agree that if you say a word that starts with the letter B around anyone else in the group, it would have permission to slap the everlasting life out of your face. In Jamaica, hell no. Nah. Hell to the no, no, no. Pause. I was thirsty. Um, did we have a game like that? Did we have? I don't think we had a game like that. When I was in school, the, the, most of the thing we had Titty Grab Tuesdays, um, Smack Ass Fridays, um, uh, what else did we have? I don't remember. I don't think. I don't think niggas. We used to slap box. I don't think niggas was really, you know, smacking niggas for saying words that start with a B. I don't remember that. A slap in the face is known as a box. Thus, say a B word, get a box. Simple. Here's the catch, though. If you say a word that begins with a B and you acknowledge it by scratching your chin, then nobody can slap you. Which explained why Kimani kept scratching his chin. Now, I had never heard of a game like this. It Facts. sounded like a terrible idea. Facts. So, of course, I immediately asked to join because when else would I ever get the opportunity to <laughs> smack <my> some? <laughs> hey, man. Yo, yo. No cap, bruh. It'd be like that, though. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Any game. Any game. Where you go wild out? Niggas is in that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas is playing that. If I get, listen, if I get to wild out and grab a titty on Tuesday and Shawty can't be mad because it's, it's titty grabbing Tuesday or grab a titty Tuesday, you, hey, I'm grabbing every god dang titty in the school, nigga. Every titty is, bro, you better, you, hey, hey, bro, hey, you better, you better, you better lock your titty in your locker. Every titty is up for grabs, literally. With no fear of retaliation. Of course, I would also be putting myself at risk, but yeah. I felt fairly confident in my chin scratching capabilities. No. So, with the locking of our pinkies, I was inducted into the B-word group. There were about seven guys in total in the group. And right away, at a target. <laughs> Never mind. I, I, it's too late. It's too late. I was fresh meat. Least experienced. Most vulnerable. I was like a... Like a... Like a baby... Like a baby turtle. And these guys what? were all like... Whatever hunts baby turtles. Didn't take long for them to catch me slipping. I was outside in the corridor talking to him. Hey, hey, hey. No cat? It's always a female that get a nigga fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? How co how how co how convenient is it that you get caught up saying the B word without touching your chin when you trying to suss it up to a bitty? How convenient! You over here trying to get you some poo nani, And you get beat down by another nigga because you forgot that you had to scratch your chin because you was too busy trying to get some pussy. Typical nigga. One of my older classmates, a civilian, when I said a B word, what was the word? Who knows? Book? Banana? 
anything. In booty. What I do know is that I didn't scratch my chin. Welcome. <laughs> hey, bro, don't. Hey, you better be on your P's and Q's. P's and Q's. But you know what's dumb? It's the fact that. I don't know if it really happened like this in real life. But it, if you was able, like, how. If you was able to hear him come up. You had plenty of time to scratch your chin. So the fact that you was able to hear somebody coming up and that didn't automatically trigger your mind. Damn, I said something. I got to scratch my chin. And you scratch your chin and scratch your cheek or whatever the case may be. You're just dumb. Because if it was me and I was playing this game, once I would have heard, uh, heard some footsteps, I would have, I heard them footsteps. Oh, 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 I'm all up on my chin, boy. Damn, and in front of the bitty. That nigga Nar Sage Naruto your ass in front of the bitty, bruh. I had been slapped with the force of a thousand suns. Once I gathered myself and turned around to see who had violated my face in such a manner, to my surprise, it was Kamani. Of course At it was. At first I felt betrayed because we were good friends, but... Right then and there, I realized that there are no friends in the world. Hey, man. Did he, hey, I like the fact that you drew this in some Naruto sh on some anime shit, my boy. I fuck with that. Because that's some real shit, nigga. Ain't no friends in this shit. Ain't no friends in this shit. You got to take it to the, to the chest. Everyone is a op. Everybody, I gotta, I gotta watch out for me and myself. This is war, nigga. This is war. Ain't no love in war. It's only death. There are only those who slap, and those who get, get slapped. Slapped. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's demon time. It's time to go crazy. What? Nigga, my ears would have been on high alert. And in that moment, I decided I am the one who slaps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Yeah, you better kill somebody. And yeah. Yeah, boy. You better kill somebody, boy. You better kill somebody, boy. Yo, if that is not how every anime protagonist starts off, bro, like you get betrayed by a friend, I don't know what is. Now, side note, in the last video, I asked y'all to hit the like button. And y'all went crazy, man. Over 100K likes. I don't even know if I ever got that many likes on a video, mm -hmm. period. And that mm -hmm. video doesn't even have... Okay. Y'all excited to see how... Revenge filled my heart. Okay, back to the story. Revenge filled my heart. Mm -hmm. And with bloodlust in my eyes, I yeah. started to hunt for my first victim. Yeah. And then I saw him. Wow. It was technical design class. The teacher was almost never there. It was the perfect setup. I sat two seats to the left of him with my head on the desk, pretending to be asleep. Hey, no cap, no cap. I was always, I, I swear to God, I was damn near asleep in almost every class. Every one of my classes, I'm asleep. I went to a, I went to a technical high school, except for shop, I wasn't asleep. Science, sleep. English, sleep. Math, I mean, I like the math. Half sleep. History, dead. I'm, I, I'm gone. I'm in the back. I'm either sleep or in the back talking to biddies. And I got, I got video evidence to prove it. Video evidence to prove it. Hey man, matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ins I'm gonna insert the clip right here. Hey man, let's go back in time and see what I was doing when I was in high school, bruh. In a, in a, hey. Enjoy, enjoy the little clip. 
We back? All right. Like I told you, in the back talking bitties. And I was letting it know. My tongue work, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But hey, man, just sleep in every class. Dead ass. Sleep. But I had one eye open just enough to see if he was scratching his chin. But his guard was down, and it was only a matter of time before he said a B word. And as soon as he said it, I sprung up, arm popped back. By the time he saw me, it was too late. Get over here. Damn! <laughs> That's not enough. You gotta get the nigga that slapped to you. You gotta be unslappable for the rest of the day and get the nigga that slapped to you. You gotta slap him 253,000 times harder than he slapped you, my boy. That's not enough. Nah, my boy. You gotta get revenge. <laughs> <laughs> so I continued to hunt. I claimed two more bodies by the time school was over. One of them was Kamani. Mm -hmm. That one felt good. Mm -hmm. School would end and we would all go home. Mm -hmm. And that was that for the day. While I was home, all I could think about was B word. I was even scratching my chin at the dip. Mm hmm. My nigga so into the game, he he he, he forgot he had, he even at home. He's so invested into the game, he out there scratching his chin like he got he got fucking uh uh rabies or some shit. My nigga, get, hey, commitment, I like it. Dinner table, of course. My mom sees this and asks what's wrong with my chin. At which point, I come up with some kind of excuse because first rule of B word. Never talk about B-Word. The next day, we get to school and B-Word is still in full effect. It doesn't end until you break the pact with everyone you were playing with. So, you show up to school ready for smoke. Hey, so yes, sir. Yes, sir. You come to school with that strap. That joint cocked and loaded. Whoever say a B-Word, it's over. Yes, sir. On, and I am struggling to catch someone slipping. Everyone was on point. Fast forward, and it's the end of the day. And then the entire senior class gets called to the auditorium for graduation rehearsal. Right away, I'm excited. Because if I was going to catch someone slipping, now would be. No. No, 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 no. This would not be the time. This would not be the time. This moment in the auditorium. Where the where, no, this would not be the time. This would be the time where it's a complete understood time out on the game. This is a pause time out on the complete game. Why? You're in the auditorium. I don't know about your school in Jamaica, my boy, but in my school in America, when you is in the auditorium. It is packed, especially when all your whole class is in the school or auditorium. It is packed with ops, teachers, principals, security. It's packed. All the teachers, all the principals, all of the security, even the janitors. It is packed up with ops. You fuck up, your shit is done. You is out of there. This, that was a, hey, that, that right there is where you fucked up at. I already know, you fucked up. You fucked up. Fucked up. Give me the time. Plus, all the crowd it made for good cover, it was the perfect storm. So we get to the auditorium, I scan the crowd, and then I spot them. Still on my hit list. In fact, Clarence, Clarence was the only dude in the group that nobody had caught. I started to make my way through the crowd until I was within earshot of his voice. He was talking. Good. So I'm listening. Waiting. 
It was kind of hard to. I feel like, I, hey, bro, he gonna slip up, bro. I know he gonna slip up, bro. Here, but I was determined. Then I heard it. Yo, chicken curry is bomb, though. Gotcha. Yo, Clarence. Get over here. Solid connection. <sighs> bro, the fact that he's drawing this like it's anime, bro, is crazy right now. 10 out of 10 execution. I had done what no man had done before. I caught Clarence. He fucked up. He fucked up. Something happened. He fucked up. He fucked up. Slipping. So I'm standing there, basking in the spoils of victory, when I notice Clarence staring at me. He want to fight. So I'm like, yo, yo, hey, I caught you. You know what you said. What are you talking about, bro? I didn't say a B word. You, you did. You did, bro. Come on. You no, I didn't. What do you think I said? What do you think you I said? You said, clear as day, yo, curry chicken is bomb. Everybody heard it. I know I heard it. No, I said, yo, who are you taking to prom? <laughs> Yo, hey, bruh, you fucked up. Like I said, you fucked up. You fucked up. He could be lying, though. But I feel like since everybody is around, everybody else heard what he actually said, and you fucked up. You were so hungry for a smack. You slipped and you fucked up. Now you about to get your ass beat. Stupid. Hmm? <laughs> you ain't say that, bro. Yes, I did! And at that... <laughs> bro, you better dip, nigga. You better fuck... Hey, hey, matter of fact, nah. I mean, is that nigga, is that nigga bigger? Is, the, is that nigga huge? Like, is he one of them cock diesel type niggas? At that point... I realize. It don't even matter. Hey, whoop that nigga ass. Beat that nigga the fuck up. Nah, nigga, you said what I heard what you said. You said bomb, nigga. Except except the fact that you got smacked, or we can scrap it up right now, nigga. I made a mistake. Because Clarence was from the country. And if you know Jamaicans, you know the man's them from the country. These aren't normal people. So I'm guessing he's like cock diesel. <sighs> I'm guessing he's like the big, like the big cocky. Uh, so he might whoop your ass. He might want to run, nigga. Keep your head still so I can get you back. So now I'm like, nah, I ain't about to go out like that. Because now there are twice as many people around as there was before. Plus... I still kind of felt like he said a B word and his, he was like lying or something, you know? So I say, yo, I heard what I heard, but how about this? Let's talk about it after rehearsal. Nah, we're doing this right now. So I peace out. I go inside the auditorium. And Facts, nigga. He got me fucked up, nigga. Hey, we could do this outside, bro. We're not doing this shit right now. I'll meet you later. I'll meet you later. Because I'm not about to get suspended for your dumb ass. All right, nigga, you got smacked. You saying that you didn't say a B word. I'm saying you said a B word. Now, if someone went around us want to speak up so we could get this squashed out, all right. But if not, if everyone around us want to stay quiet and you try to scrap, we can handle this outside after the, 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 the auditorium shit is done. Because I ain't getting suspended. If you want to get suspended, that's on you, nigga. I ain't getting suspended over you. Dummy. I my seat. I figured it was the safest place. I accepted that I was probably going to get slapped into the shadow realm. <laughs> but hopefully, by the time the rehearsal was over, he would have cooled off some and there'd be less witnesses. So, I'm sitting in my seat, probably talking to whoever was beside me. And I hear 
something coming. Excuse me. Watch out. Coming through. Move. Excuse me. I look to my... That nigga about to murder your ass. He about to murder your ass. Your life is done. Right? My heart drops. Because all I see is this big, tough country. Yo, no cap? That nigga look like the boombox nigga from Static Shock. No cap. The way he just did that, like, slowly going up like that, you feel what I'm saying? Made him look like the beatbox nigga from Static Shock, boy. No cap. Three men bulldozing his way down my I aisle. Said, excuse me. Move. Move. Get out my way. Move. Bro, I'm sweating. I'm trapped. All the seats around me were taken. I couldn't get out. I was done for. Yo, son. I said I'm getting you back. Right now. Clarence. Please. My boy, right now. You couldn't wait, bro. You want to smack the nigga right now in front of everybody? Even the teacher. Your ass is going to get. All right, bro. Whatever. He Fuck it. pulls back his crusty, callous farm hands. And then. One fell swoop. Clarence beams me across my face. He back smacks you, bro. He backhands you. Nah, bro. This dude slapped me so hard that to engage all of my core muscles just so I didn't fall out the chair. You're telling me this man backhands you, bro? You let this nigga backhand you? Oh nah. If he would have, if he would have backhand me, it's oh yeah, we definitely scrapping. So there I sat in my chair, fighting back the tears, eyes closed. Didn't want to look at anybody. Didn't want anyone to look at me. Clarence went back to his seat, and I just sat there, face swollen. Ego broken. I got what I deserved. Hey, bro, that's your fault. You should have. You should. Hey, me and the, me and Bo would have been scrapping. There was no nothing cap. I could do. But Smack that nigga insane. back. Damn. B word giveth, and B word taketh away. <laughs> Why you draw your cheek on your eye like that, bro? He drew his cheek or smacked up against his eye, bro. Demons know. Bro, hey, man. Down in the comments, sorry if you would have, if y'all would have ended up fighting bull, right? Because I would have ended up fighting bull. Ain't no way you about to tell me with no evidence. You're not even putting nobody around you saying that you didn't say it or that you did say what you said that you said. Ain't nobody's coming up nothing. It's just you against me. And I, and I, nigga, I am feeding to smack you. And you think I'm about to slip up? No, nigga. Are you think I'm about to slip up and, and, and misheard the word prom with bomb? Wh who you taking a prom with? Curry chicken is bomb? No, nigga. I know what I heard. You said bomb, and I smacked your ass. Nobody around him try to admit to say no. He did. He really didn't say bomb. He said prom. Nobody. And then you let him smack you. I would have been fighting. So down in the comments, if you and Bull would have been scrapping, let me know. Type in scrapping. Oh, oh. Type in scrapping. We scrapping. Type in something that uh, about y'all fighting, nigga. Cause I swear, to, I swear to God, I would have been fighting, Bull. Oh God, I would have been fighting, Bull. But hey, man, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and you destroy that like button. Make sure you go ahead and you demolish that subscribe button. Make sure you go ahead and click that notification bell so you can go ahead and be a part of the Big Bad Gang. It's your man's Mo, and I'm going to catch you in the next video.